Hey guys, so this is pretty much like a basis review of what I liked about Star Wars or Celebration Orlando, which was um, live streamed earlier, pretty much. And tomorrow's on part two, which I'll probably like give a breakdown to. Like it's going to be on The Last Jedi. So pretty much I like the way everything was, even them, some of the surprise camera was like nobody knew about Harrison Ford possibly showing up because it wasn't mentioned on Twitter. He's one of my favorite actors in this series. As you guys can tell, he's on my shirt over there. And of course, you have um, Ian McDermott, who was in Pro Palpatine. You have no Ewan McGregor, which is probably going to be saved for the future Star Wars panel, because I believe they're going to do that, and maybe even pull out a couple of people off of Han Solo, who is also a no-show, since it was the 40th year today and tomorrow's. The panel for The Last Jedi, which I cannot wait for, like, I'll probably have the trailer somewhere on my phone or something, and then I'll, like, do a reaction. Like, I'll play it and be like, I like this or whatever, even though it's going to be a teaser. And I cannot even wait until all tomorrow. And what I hope is really that we find out some of the stuff that we've been dying to find out, especially tomorrow. Like, is Anakin a Force Ghost, for example? Like, Hayden Christensen who played Anakin Skywalker in 2 and 3. He didn't really, like, he didn't even mention nothing about being a Force ghost or anything in number 8. Or even the future one as well, like, next turn after this number 9. Which I think is pretty weird. Especially, like, with the fact that Yoda, played by Frank Oz originally, could be back. And he's also, like, a person that's been... In everything. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. And even I think you could hear his voice somewhere in Ray's Force Vision. Unless I'm just thinking of Obi Wan Kenobi. But yeah, and hopefully for the future filmmaker thingy, you can like see Obi Wan Kenobi kind of like with his Jedi robe, like with the hood either over. Like this sort of, or just like with his hair down, even though his hair, is, I think, is cut short or a mohawk or something. And like a blaster or perhaps a lightsaber in his pocket or in his hand type thingy, looking like he's getting ready to battle. Because everybody really wants an Obi-Wan Kenobi film, which I cannot wait, and I'm kind of debating right now. Anakin? Or perhaps um, somebody else, unless they want to pull off. A canon, I believe, for because I think in the animated show Clone Wars, which used to be on Netflix, I don't know if it still is. Then perhaps um he'll be in. They could somehow like put them in like Darth Maul had a brother, and yeah. And perhaps as well, if we don't find out by episode eighty nine. Who's Rey's parent, you guys? Like, could she be a, a Kenobi? Like, granddaughter to Obi-Wan? Like, he's probably the rightful age since, like, Luke had been in his 20s or something if everybody thought Rey was the mom, which, of course, she isn't. If you guys have seen Rogue One, it's been about a year since the film in December, but it's been, like, a year for Star Wars Celebration. Like, I think it was today or a couple of days or like two days from now or something in a year, Rogue One would have been introduced, really like officially announced like the whole cast would have been there, um, Felicity Jones and everybody. And I actually want to see Gareth Edwards again behind the directing chair, especially after all the criticism that everybody, including him, Kathleen Edward, Kennedy, gave him for his role as director for Rogue One. He's a huge Star Wars fan, as you guys could have probably told if you guys had watched Celebration and everything. But, like, yeah. And I'm quite happy to, like, really figure, see of how, what they're going to do with Leia since it's going to be nerve-wracking still. Like, I'm probably going to cry, as I did earlier, frequently to the fabulous tribute, by the way, to um, Leia and Harrison Ford. I think Mark Hamill talked a little bit and it showed, like, pictures and behind-the-scenes and stuff, and then her daughter, very princessly, like, who 
Similarly, it looks like her, who's even like in The Force Awakens, possibly this one as well, number eight, with tears in her eyes or something. And while she's even back for number nine, I'm screaming. But yeah, maybe she could have taken them. And if you guys are familiar with this, I'm sure which is really popular on Netflix called Stranger Things. Perhaps Millie Bobby Brown, who's like when a 12 year old, I believe, 13, maybe, she could be a young Leia. Like if they did a younger version of her on Alderaan or whatever, like a couple years or something before the before I'm a new hope. Yeah, and I'm super excited for tomorrow. I'll probably, like, do a breakthrough or reaction. Especially if it shows a couple of things besides just, like, the music or whatever. Like, and especially, like, if we get everything revealed that we wanted to. Like, who's this, um, Benicio, Benicio, whatever. Sorry, but if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Del Toro. And whatever. So, like, bye, guys. I'll probably be back tomorrow or something with another Star Wars-related movie video or, like, breakdown, whatever. So feel free to, like, subscribe to the channel. Like it up, you guys. Very much appreciated. Thanks. And may the force be with you.